When it comes to building a website, there's one decision that can make your life a breeze or drive you up the wall, choosing the right web host. If you've looked around, odds are you've bumped into two heavyweight names, Hostinger and Hostgator. They've both been around for years, promising fast speeds, reliable uptime, and affordable plans. But let's be honest, all the marketing jargon can start to blur together, and at some point, you just want someone to tell you which one is better and why. That's exactly why I'm here. I'm going to help you figure it out. And just a quick heads up before we dive in, I've dropped links in the description with special deals you won't find on their sites, including a 10% off coupon code for Hostinger when you use the code SITESTARTERS. So if you're leaning toward Hostinger, make sure to grab that discount. Now, when it comes to actually using these platforms, Hostinger really shines in terms of simplicity. The dashboard is clean and intuitive, making it super easy for someone who's never built a website before to get things up and running. Hostinger ditched the old school C panel and instead offers its own control panel, which is more streamlined and less intimidating. Hostgator sticks with the C panel, which is great if you're familiar with it, but it can feel a little clustered or overwhelming if you're just dipping your toes into web hosting for the first time. So if ease of use matters to you, especially as a beginner, Hostinger holds a slight edge. But what about speed and performance? This is where things get interesting. Hostinger has put a lot of muscle into optimizing performance. It boasts data centers in multiple regions, uses Lightspeed web servers, and offers solid state drive storage, all of which translate into fast page load times and reliable uptime. In multiple speed tests, Hostinger has consistently delivered impressive numbers, making it a great contender if you want a snappy, responsive site. Hostgator isn't a slouch by any means. It promises a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee and generally delivers, but in head-to-head -head comparisons, Hostinger tends to edge it out just slightly when it comes to raw speed. That might not matter much for a personal blog, but for business sites or e-commerce stores, that extra second or two can make a real difference. When you look under the hood, at the features they offer, both hosts pack a lot into their plans, but they take a slightly different approach. Hostinger loves to bundle in freebies like a free domain for the first year, free SSL certificates, and unlimited bandwidth on many plans. It also throws in handy extras like automatic backups and malware scanning, which are great for peace of mind. Hostgator is also no slouch in this department either, offering unmetered bandwidth, free site transfers, a website builder, and one-click WordPress installs. However, some of Hostgator's best features like backups and advanced security tools often require you to pay extra or upgrade to a higher tier plan. When it comes to pricing, Hostinger and Hostgator take slightly different paths, but both offer solid value depending on what you're looking for. Hostinger is known for its very low introductory rates, just a few bucks a month for shared hosting, which makes it an attractive option if you want to stretch your budget early on. While its renewal rates do go up, they remain pretty competitive compared to many other providers. Hostgator, meanwhile, tends to start a little higher at first glance, but it frequently offers generous promotions and discounts. If you're willing to commit to a longer term plan, you can score some great deals that bring the monthly cost down significantly. So while Hostinger has a slight edge on upfront pricing, both offer flexible options options that can work well for a range of budgets and needs. One area where Hostgator really holds its ground, though, is customer support. While both companies offer 24-7 support through live chat and email, Hostgator also provides phone support, something Hostinger lacks. For some people, being able to hop on a call and talk through an issue is a big deal. Personally, it is to me as well. Hostgator's live chat response times are typically fast, and its support agents are generally knowledgeable and patient. Hostinger support is solid too, and its knowledge base is packed with helpful articles and tutorials, but if you value having the option to call someone when you get into a problem, Hostgator might have the upper hand. So which one should you choose? It really depends on what matters most to you. If you're on a tight budget, want fast performance, and value an easy-to-use platform, Hostinger is hard to beat. It's ideal for beginners, bloggers, small business owners, and anyone who wants solid hosting without breaking the bank. On the other hand, if you're looking for a more traditional hosting experience, don't mind paying a bit extra for certain features and appreciate having phone support at your fingertips, Hostgator is a strong choice. It's particularly well suited for people who are familiar with cPanel or anticipate needing more features as their site grows. At the end of the day, picking a web host is a personal decision. It's about finding the right balance between price, performance, and support that works for you. And just so you don't miss out, remember to check the description below. I've included links to both hosts 
Stinger and HostGator with exclusive deals and discounts. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions for me, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And at any rate, that's all for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.